What's poppin' Guardians, this is King Douglas 7th, and I have some helpful information to help you guys get even more loot. Yep, my last couple of videos have all been loot focused, and this is no different because that's what everybody wants in Destiny, right? You want the strongest weapons, you want the strongest armor, you want the best looking gear, and that's what I'm here to give you. Before I do this though, make sure you subscribe to the channel for more helpful videos in the future now i would be able to tell you what the uh what the actual i guess it's a glitch because what ends up happening is well how i found it was i was doing a public event and i fast traveled there obviously so i finished a public event and a public event is pretty close to the fast travel spot and then I made a mistake and fast traveled to the same spot that I got to the event on and I ended up being able to do the same exact event multiple times with different people. So the reason why this happens is because there are multiple like server spots for the same areas in Destiny 2. It was the same way in Destiny, but you couldn't fast travel in foreign public events like you could in Destiny 2. So it's different. So what ends up happening is when you finish a public event, if you do it fast enough and you hurry up and pick up your loot, and then you fast travel again to that same spot, you have a chance to go to a different server spot. So the thing about it though is uh, if you do this and you also have a traveler's medallion, this could be a very, very effective way to just farm exotics and legendaries. But, of course, it's not a guarantee that you'll get exotics or legendaries. So this is not like a guarantee. I guarantee you guys will get a bunch of, uh, a bunch of exotic ingrams and legendary ingrams and blah, blah, blah. I can't guarantee that. But what I can say is that this is a very effective way to farm legendary ingrams and exotic ingrams. And you have a higher chance to farm more public events and to f get more ingrams this way it's a better chance than you just going like just looking on the map for multiple maybes and it's it's more time efficient for the most part you can almost guarantee that you'll be able to do two public events for the one public event that you get before the thing though is that this works best for public events that are right next to the fast travel spots. If you have to travel a good amount of time, you most likely won't be able to do the public event multiple times. So that's why you should pretty much save this for the public events that are super close to the fast travel spots. That's pretty much it for this video. I hope this information helps you guys a lot. Again, if this information seems useful, don't forget to leave a like on the video. And again, don't forget to sub. It's King Dub 7 signing out. Hear what I hear.